All right, this video is for the Miura Ori fold, this interesting little piece here. So we'll do that right now. So I'm gonna start out with a standard piece of origami paper, um, green on one side and white on the other. So the first thing we're gonna do is just um, make a rectangle here, like this. And then we're gonna make one more. This is like hot dog style folding like that uh, then I'm going to open it up and what I like to do here is to get the letter M with the color so you can see here this is what we call a mountain fold these two are mountain folds and this is a valley fold here for the green so what I'm going to try to do is a mountain a valley and a mountain so that means I'm going to reverse two of these folds. So this one on the bottom, I'm going to turn into a mountain fold. Like that. And then this one right in the middle, I'm going to turn into a valley. So I'm using the line that's already there, just reversing the fold. So then I'm going to give that a crease. So I'll make this clear now. If you actually look at the paper this way, um, it looks like the letter M if you're looking at it from down here. So that's a mountain followed by a valley followed by a mountain. So that's really the way to go. Um, so I'm going to rotate the paper, collapse it, and just put it down like this. So now what I'm going to do is to bring this side edge here to the bottom. So I'm going to bring it down like this to make what looks like a right triangle. So give it a nice good crease, just like that. All right, and open it up. And what you'll see are these two uh, large triangles. You can see one here and also one there. And so I'm going to grab the two mountain parts of the coloring fold and to actually push the triangles in. So I'm going to push this triangle in like so. And the same thing here. Hold on to this mountain and gently push the triangle in. And so you'll see it collapses right inside like that. So then your paper should fold flat when you're done with that. So I want to show something. Uh, when you open this up, you can see those two triangles that we had at the very beginning. And <clears throat> so we still have the pattern of mountain, valley, mountain. But then if you look at this as one continuous fold right here. So maybe I can point it this way, like this. So this one continuous fold is all one mountain. So what we're going to do with the Miura is to alternate between mountains and valleys. So we can go back to the collapsible state here, like so. And I'm going to lift this upward right on the edge of that right triangle. So it makes like a boot shape. And then I'll open it up. So the thing to emphasize here, we saw before, uh, this is one big mountain, but now we have a new fold that shows up further up the paper. We want that to be one valley. So sometimes the valleys are difficult to fold, but if you'd like to, you can go to the white side of the paper. And because it's a green mountain, this will actually be a white valley. Um, or I should say a white, this is a green valley. So what we want here is a white mountain. So I'm going to pop up the paper in two locations here and turn this last fold all into one continuous mountain. So this is already a mountain. So I'm going to have to make this one into a mountain. So I'm going to follow the crease that's already there. So I'm not making a new fold, just following the old one. This is already a mountain. And then this last one we have to turn into a mountain. 
And what you'll notice is that your paper starts to collapse into the flat state. Like this. And again, I'll open this up and talk about a couple of things. So this is completely flat. And then if you open it up back to its green side, um, this is the thing I was trying to emphasize, that this was our initial mountain in green, and now that second fold is all one valley. Um, the other thing you'll notice is on the, uh, the long horizontal part, you can see that this, uh, this fold here is a valley, this becomes a mountain, and then this returns to a valley. So not only are the M shapes alternating, but on the longer part, uh, the horizontal or vertical part, however you want to see it, those are also alternating. So at this point, the rest of it is um, pretty simple because the paper has already been folded in both directions a couple of times. So then I would pick this up and fold in this direction. Uh, what we're eventually aiming for is a parallelogram shape. So notice we're continuing this flat edge here. All right, and open it up. And because our last M shape was a valley, this next one is a mountain. So I'm gonna pop these two open and just make one mountain going across. And you can tell again that the paper just collapses naturally to a flat state. Just like that. <laughs> and we'll just open it up and do a quick check. So you can see that. And really you can definitely, um, definitely we're well on our way. Uh, it's looking very close to this here. So we just have one more step. So the last fold will be to finish off the parallelogram. Just fold it upward here, get a nice firm crease, and I'll open it up like this. And so the last white one is a valley, so this last one is going to be a mountain. Two of these I have to reverse, and I can already feel the paper wanting to flatten, right? So it's completely flat, something that tells you you did it right. Uh, you have the alternating colors here, the alternating triangles on both sides, like that. But then of course the fun part is just opening it up. and seeing all of the mountains and valleys. There it is.